in the mix. Women's 1500 meter final gets underway. Three and three quarter laps, full of intrigue. It, will there be a medal for Great Britain? And Kip Yegon has not hung around. She has sprinted to the front and everybody else has followed. And away they go. The only one who decided that's not for me, funny enough, as ever. Sifan Hassan right at the back and Faith just slows it down. And this is what you can do when you're as good as her. It's like being a conductor of an orchestra. Everyone's looking to you. You're making the moves. You're calling the shots. And you could see that with Ki the way Kira McGinn started very, very strongly. But the moment that she saw Faith Kip Yegan had interest in getting to the front, she immediately allowed that and slots into a good position now with Laura Muir alongside her. But you're right, everybody is just waiting. Sufanistan predictably at the back so far, but I really do think she has to find something different because otherwise she knows that Kip Yegan is just too fast for her at the moment. Well, they've all got right up there because they know that Faith can run this from the front and it's not slow, it looks as though they really slow down, but it's around 64, 65, and she can keep building this pace off that. Anything around 210 is kind of steady for these women. 25, 26 would have been very quick, but it's steady rather than fast, but she's just gradually, you can tell, just putting her foot down, just stretching it a little bit. Well, Terji right up there, Laura Muir there, McGean on the curb, Chep Church here, Jess Hull, then Katie Snowden, Melissa Courtney Bryant towards the back where Safan Hassan still is. And what she's doing is almost imperceptibly fartlecking it as well. She's picking it up down the back straight, stretching them out a little bit, then backing off around that corner. And you can see them again stacking up around her. Laura Muir making a little bit of a move towards the front. Perhaps she wants to just let them know that she's there. I don't think she wants to go for it from here. I think if you're not Kip Yegan, what you have to be careful of here is when Faith makes the big move, and she will do that, just be careful about how much you burn to go with her. I think Welteji will do that, but you could pay for that later on. Laura Muir in the perfect position at the moment, just to keep an eye on everything. But this has not started. It's a slowish first 800 metres, 2.11. And that definitely slowed off there. And just watch Chepchetia in the middle as well. Coached by Janet Chepkoska, she knows how to finish fast and she's getting quicker all the time. Also dangerous because she's so long striding in the middle of that pack. Laura Muir ran a 157, 800 metres in Manchester on a cool evening a few weeks back. And that will stand her in good stead because this is going to be a quick finish here. And she's in a great position. Kira McGean on the curb for Ireland. Well, Tedge is there. Chep Church here, poised. Melissa Courtney Bryan's just finding this tough now because Kip Yegon is stretching them out. Sifan Hassan makes her first move, but she's got some metres to make up. And it's Chep Church here and Welteji on the shoulder of Kip Yegon at the bell. Chep Church here has just slightly closed off Laura Muir, though, has made the decision to track in. And now she's going to find that Hassan comes past her and then she's going to have to track in behind Sifan Hassan. It's hard and fast from here. Kip Yegon stretching out trying to show why she is the best in the world and nobody is going to stay with her well teji can she last it out she's in a medal position kira mcgean is hanging in there sifan hassan showing her strength and check Churchill. these are the five who are going to take the medals i'm pretty sure or it'll come from these five but there's no doubt about who's going to win it kip yegon is away and stretches her lead into the home straight hassan is battling for the silver medal but faith kip yegon world records all season she is the best in the world and she's never been better than this she takes her third world championship well teji the silver sifan hassan the bronze mcgean a strong fourth then chet churchia then muir and snowden well, it almost went.